The last time she was on the show, she talked about the idea behind the ferry project, which was still in the works, but now it's done and dusted. Take a look. It's time to take the ferry for a ride. The colorful display lights up the water. Passersby stop to join in capturing shots. It's not every day something unique sails through your waterway. It's as though the story behind its imagery has been endorsed by those included in the tale as the rain falls approvingly, guiding the ferry to port. Art enthusiasts have turned up to have a view of the ferry and other works by Polly, who gathers the guests for an opening speech. Why a ferry? Why am I painting a ferry? I have to say, I asked myself that question several times over the last few weeks, um, especially when it was either blisteringly hot, so hot indeed that when I was painting the top of the ferry, I could feel the heat coming through the soles of my shoes. And when I opened the pots of paint, the pots of paint actually kind of exploded a bit because the paint had expanded. Um, one of the other challenges was that, of course, the top of the ferry is a little bit rounded, so an awful lot of things rolled off the ferry and into the water. And that was on a good day when it wasn't raining. Anyway, so I did ask myself that question quite often, but managed to get it done. It was finished yesterday, so I'm on track. We've got our images, so as you may all know, that I then use those images to create a limited edition print just as I did with the Molloway that I did in January, that is here. Um, so I don't just paint the ferry, the ferry remains in its painted state, used as a passenger ferry. Um, I then create this print and we are working, Corshaw Harbours is working with CDC. Um, so we're trying to create a bit more awareness of the work of CDC and helping to create some funds as well that will feed back into the charity. So, you know, today is the easy day. We're going to go lightly on you today. When the print is finished, we're going to call you all back in again, and that's when we're going to be selling those prints. The objective of the event is to raise money for charity, a mission received with appreciation. We work with children of different forms of disabilities. We don't discriminate that, okay, this is mainly for autism, this is mainly for kids with Down syndrome, this is mainly for once you have developmental challenges, we take that home in CDC. In all that they do, at the end of it, they're still coming back into the society. And so we also want to create awareness. Let the society know what and what and what we can put together for our children. And one of the things we are having here is what Polly is doing right away. For those who have had their fail, it's nothing but accolades for the artist's talent. Polly is on a journey to take art to the public. One of the things she's passionate about is how to bring art into the public space. Bringing art into the public space transforms the way the public responds to art. One of the things that we have in, shall we say, in this town, in this city, is we don't have enough art in the public space. Taking the, the ferry and letting it go every day lets people look at it. Art has a way of transforming you. It, it, it has a way of transforming how you think about yourself. It has a way of transforming what you think even about the environment you find yourself. It's a wonderful afternoon to get down here. I've never been down to this venue before, but it's uh, down on the foreshore and to see Polly's work and she's just 
built or, um, or created something that is, is tremendous. Uh, she's chosen a canvas that is a boat. And uh, when you see it and you see all around it, and particularly when you see the roof, you can see the, frankly, I think genius in it, the thought as well as the execution. It's almost like a Sistine Chapel, I've told her. Well, I kind of expected because I'd seen it sort of grow over the weeks as Polly had been working on it. And I know her work with the Molloways and the Kekes and everything, but uh, seeing it out on the water was just fantastic, you know. Uh, really unique, very special, uh, and a very innovative way of taking your art to a different audience. So I think it was a great event, very successful. And for all her effort, Polly does deserve to be rewarded.